lies. Yo. It's poppin' ski. We gonna start it off saying R.I.P. the Dolph. Most definitely. Off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we gonna get into it though, man. We back, man. Right. Thanksgiving weekend in this hoe. Hell yeah. Make sure y'all thankful out there. You know what I'm saying? Hope everybody good. Hope the kids good. Hope the family good. Hope the parents good. Memphis, what up? Sorry for your loss, you dig? Hey, to all my out the country listeners, man, what up, man? How y'all doing, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, we talking to you. Yeah, over quick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got cats in Cuba and everything listening, man. Already. Flat out. Shout Love out to y'all. Brazil, everything. Shout out to y'all. You might yeah, we're going to get into the uh, BMF, too. And the comment section on YouTube went crazy. Crazy. Oh. What it do? It is the Illmax Showcast Whiskey brought to you by Urban Access Network and FNX Fit. Use code FNXTIRV to get you 15% off whatever you're going to get, cuz. All your supplemental needs. Uh, uh, let me know. Redefine yourself. <laughs> Jump on board and Straight get 15%. Up. Straight up, man. For all you healthy, vegan, also just regular humans who want to support the brand, man. It's 15%. Jump on board. Use that code. Yeah, yeah, right. Flat out. Ski was popping, man. How man. was the week? Other than the tragedy. Uh, Week was up and down. Week was up and down. Mm-hmm. A lot of uh, yig yakking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of just <laughs> shit going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot, just a lot, a lot of yig yakking. Just, just, just Who word them out. You know what I'm saying? The news. We had my mans on the trial. Yeah. It, it, it just, you know. Everybody talking about Black Friday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No no shave, no vimble. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Right. In the earth shit, you would just hear. That's fucked up. The comments on uh on on YouTube, Urban Access Network. Go ahead and subscribe, y'all, one time. You know what I'm saying? Hit the button. Drop another comment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you. And if you're on Apple Podcasts, give us five stars. Leave a comment, too. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? People like to do that, too. But, yeah, man, my week was, uh, I don't know, man. I had a hard week psychologically, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't, I don't like fucking with the gig no more at all, dog. Friday was on B.I.S. But it's, you know what I'm saying, when you got responsibilities, you can't move. Yeah, you got it. How you, how you feel like moving. You know right. what I'm saying? Straight up. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, man, for y'all who don't know, um, Young Dog passed away. R.I.P. to the to the young king, king of Memphis, king of Memphis, dog. South Memphis, <laughs> stop playing. Memphis. Yeah, that's tragic. So what's up, man? Where where was you when you found out the info, man? At the gig. You was at the gig. Yeah, that was. Uh, you thought it was Cap? Nah, I I like when I heard somebody first say, uh, they just did it. I just was like, damn, who y'all talking about? And they was like, I was like, what? Hit the ground, all on the ground. That's messed up, man. Yeah. They say he was going to get some cookies from the cookie spot for his bird. Yeah. I saw another video where he went, right? But he was in a white pickup truck. And he said two weeks ago. And you couldn't even... You wouldn't even know it was Dolph if you was saying it was like an F one fifty or a Silverado or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, low key. Yeah, low key. So it makes me wonder why he drive that that day. You know what I'm saying? Man, probably was just sliding, just needed that power. You know what I'm saying? You know how you got them whips. Yeah. And you wanna hit it. You know what I'm saying? Or if you wanna Mm-mm. cruise, haul or whatever, family mobile. But I don't Can't know. Can't do that, cuz. Ain't no way. He was moving dog. and grooving that day. Like he should. If Dolph, <clears throat> right, this is my thing. If a rapper is in their city, every car that you have in your city should at least have, like, be bulletproof. I know he wasn't in the car. Mm. But you got to be careful, man. Yeah, I don't, but that's what I'm saying. I don't think he stayed there no more. So even with just sliding through, 
Just slide it like you did the first time or the last you time. You think rappers need to leave their city? Because uh, a lot of rappers die in their own city. So a lot of people saying that, you know, saying rappers shouldn't stay where they where they lay their head or where they from. You can stay where you lay your head, of course, but where they from? I mean, you could just don't go Hollywood. So it's like live beyond your your means of what you're doing in your life. Don't live beyond your means. Like go uh, where you can afford, and also go somewhere where you feel all the way secured and safe. You know what I'm saying? You gonna do that regardless. But I'm just saying, however you moving, just make like just be extra, 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 extra prepared. Especially if you moving solo, you moving uh-huh. with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Family wise, it's like, I guess, just shit, just seemed like it's getting back to the old days of just being precautious when we was told you been to open that motherfucking door for nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, nah. just, just period. So it's just like, I guess you can't force nobody to move incognito, but it's like, man, if it's best to do it, shit, just be. You I know, mean. I don't, I don't know. It's a hard question because I don't want to tell you you can't stay in your city, but at the same time, I can tell you it probably wouldn't be a smart move. Mm-hmm. Especially if you out, like, in the trap yeah. and you somewhere where there's not a lot of people with money in. When you get a lot of money, the best thing to do, for real, is to try to be around other people with a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So that way, you good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't never want to be the biggest fish in the pond. So you just would have sent somebody to go get the cookies. Yeah, I just would have sent somebody to go get the cookies. Yeah. I mean, but, uh, it's cool. That's why I said, I, just like you said, why he wasn't in some yeah. else. And I mean, he, he should know in Memphis you got to move like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, send somebody else to get that shit, bro. I wish, if anything, uh, I don't know, could have could have been a different situation. Like, if somebody would have brought the cookies out. Oh man, well, nah. Know, I don't know. I don't you know. know, man. We uh all of that ain't important, man. You know what I'm saying? Kids yeah, lo- just, kids lost a father. I really think, you know, just um a mother lost a son. Tragic. You know what I'm saying? This ain't just something happened. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's just like all of the allegations and we like to be stuff selfish. To put the story together is like, man. Yeah, we like to be selfish, but you know what I'm saying? Our condolences. The family out the to, family is, is like the most hurt people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He so, paper out entertainment. Yeah, man. The whole team, the whole staff. So uh, shout out to the family. Prayers go out to the family. Yeah. Like and, Key uh, Glock said, you know what I'm saying? Just give him more niggas, encouraging words. Don't even ask him, is he okay? Like, don't do that. Yeah, and then niggas motherfucking went crazy in Memphis, dog. It was a straight. They said niggas right. were shooting everywhere, cuz. Yeah. But, yeah, R.I.P. Dolph. And um, let's get on to these uh these comments. I right, we want to jump right into it. Yeah, we are gonna jump right into the comments. Oh, you know what? Nah, hold up. We gonna say the comments. Uh, say that. Say we the need comments. to go. BMF. BMF. Woo! Heat it. Hey man, let me just start off by saying Heated. this. <laughs> All right, let me start off. Let me start off by saying this. This episode was fire. Fire. It had everything. Action, hey boy! Emotion, you know what I'm saying. The hardest, I'm, and I'm they gonna even, tell you the hardest part of the Ski. movie was when Meech Ski. They and even Big had, Mickey was in the motherfucking mechanic shop. They had, they even put some titties in that motherfucker fight. It had everything in it. Yeah, everything. Episode was fired up. Yeah, straight up. But so uh, we we got I our, we got our question this, answered. I didn't know this was the last one. Yeah, man. All right, let's. Start. I wish it could have went like ten or some shit. Let's start. We gonna start with the with the money with the contract. I mean that the hospital had to give up, right? Uh. Why did they put the money in the trust and all of that type of shit, dog? And wasn't that some bullshit? Do they always do that? She said it was an option. Cause he wasn't eighteen. Yeah, but the only but other the option thing was, was to it was just getting it approved from a judge, though. That's what the daddy was saying. But 
Like wifey said, wifey was, you know what I'm saying, wifey was in her feelings. Like, damn, that's the fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I feel her. Yeah. Because it's like, how you gonna give me this money and then I can't get the money? But you got your money. That's what wifey was on. I bet you the lawyer got her cut. You damn right. Yeah, I... But, yeah, that was some bullshit. Yeah, that was some, uh, that was crazy. And, um, let's see, what else happened in there? Yeah, they was talking about the business, you know what I'm saying, that he was trying to get it started with the cause. Oh, yeah, he ain't want to fuck with it. So that. I was like, okay. But he ended up doing it, though. Did that. Did that. Did that. When, uh, Mitch, Lil Mitch, man, uh, B. Mickey in the mechanic shop, uh-huh. he like that nigga, no, nigga, like, you better get the top. He ain't even <laughs> have to say a motherfucking word. Like, I already know <laughs> the shit's up. It's something you need it's to tell up. me. You need to tell me. Right. That boy started talking immediately. Yeah. It was like, yeah, this, 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 this. And me stepped up like, nigga, it'll be over right now. <laughs> right now if you don't get the rap. <laughs> Straight up. I'm like, that was crazy, though. But this is the thing. I was still thinking Meech was going to fuck with him just because he ain't telling him off the rip. On some how long you done knew this and you ain't told me, nigga. Yeah. But he wasn't tripping, so we found out Kato was dirty. But I had seen the the footage on YouTube of the real Kato, and I was just like, okay, she an OG. I think she's still alive. Don't quote me. You know what I'm saying? But I was just watching. I was like, well, damn, I guess in the, in the series. Yeah, I think the real Kato's still alive. Yeah, so that was crazy, bro. So. I love you too, boo. Out of here. Yeah, she told that nigga she loved you, and that nigga pulled the trick. I was like, ooh. Boo up in this motherfucker watching this motherfucker. She was like, boo, see? <laughs> it's time. It's motherfucking time. I'm Straight like, up. all right, stop. Don't, okay. We we maneuvering shit over here, but the whole last goddamn me series, a lot of shit got maneuvered. Oh, yeah. The police pulled, um, they pulled them in jail. They all got out the same time. That shit was gangsta. <laughs> that shit was gangsta. I was like, what up? And uh, that's crazy. He had got him some little yam yam before he had to get her up out of here, though. <laughs> Shit, that was crazy, though. Yeah, dog. He had to murk that hoe, man. Moms told me he lost his promise. First born. Damn. I ain't get that, but I got what the lingo was. He yeah. thought and she knew. And then she said, that ended when you, you know. Yeah. Nigga said, you my little brother. Nigga, don't turn your back on me, nigga. Yeah, so Terry leaving the game. He out. Got the chain. Yeah. He got a, had a bigger chain. Mid, Lil Meech had a bigger chain to show him. Yeah. Bigger charm. Uh, Lamar gone. Mark that nigga. I was, surprised, I was surprised to see Meech pull the trigger, dog. I didn't even think Meech had it in him. Man. Them boys was ready when they thought when he was in the funeral uh, spot in the moor. Oh, yeah. It was finna go down. I, that shit was funny. I too. had Shout lost. Out to I had Rollins. lost. Shout track. out to my nigga DC Young Fly too. You hear me? You Cut know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that boy came in looking like a straight Detroit player, nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> For real. But yeah, yeah, I thought it like I lost track of time with the. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The uh, the the last series, and I was thinking it was finna be over right there. I'm like, they probably finna put this nigga in. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, shit, it's finna go down. Yeah, but this is what I was tripping off of, right? Mm. Kato. Mm. Women really do have the capability to manipulate the hell out of men, bro. That boy said that was his first look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all day. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nigga, I'm telling you, though. That nigga, me, was like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about whole, none of Yeah, that the shit. whole season, he was she boy, different. She different. Right. And she had nigga, my nigga wrapped up, bruh. That boy established the, the beat. And was manipulating the fuck out this nigga, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's messed up, bruh. Then it was just it was just sweet when he when Meach found out who, who her pops was and who and when he run you know what I'm saying, the whole different name of the gang and shit. He was like, ah, yeah. Yeah, he said, yeah, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar hang out with them, used to hang out with them too. Oh, yeah. okay. Both of them crazy niggas. Oh, okay. That's where this whole came from. Enough said. Flat out. Yeah, boy man. Boy had to tell mom, y'all ain't got to worry about nothing. 
No more security around this motherfucker. Flat out. And Terry walked away from the game. He had to go get his son. So you know what time it is, right? Yeah. It's time for BMF. The Atlanta edition. Next season. Y'all get ready. Why are you saying Atlanta remember, edition? Remember Ill Mac told you. Why season, you say Atlanta season edition? Season two. Though? Meach will be in Atlanta and it will be the Atlanta part of BMF. Because after him and his brother broke up, Meach mm-hmm. moved to Georgia. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's when that move happened. Okay. Because, you know, the story is that Meach was too flashy for Terry, and Terry didn't want to fuck with him because right. he was too flashy. So he stayed in Detroit. That boy said, don't answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's some real nigga shit, though. Yeah. Like, they was straight. They, I just like how they made it like them niggas were straight brothers for real, for real. Like what happened to one, what happened to uh, one to the tune? tune. You know what I'm saying? I'm but we forgot something. What your boy gonna do? Little Mickey gonna do about he locked up, dog? The detective say, "Yo, I he need you this. to work for me. I want Meach. I don't even want you." That's crazy, bro. What he gonna do, Ski? I think that's the nigga that uh. I think he did snitch. But it was a couple of niggas that, that snitched, that, snitched hey, on me. Ain't government. They was just going down the line. But yeah, it's going. It's going to the Atlanta Atlanta season, like, cause you you could tell from when he was in jail and shit like that. I don't think it's gonna go straight to jail. It's definitely they got to show the Atlanta side of things, and you're gonna see the fake GZ, and you're gonna see the fake Atlanta artist he was kicking it with. They're gonna put all of that in there, bro. Are you? Because that was a run. But it was still, it was still, nigga. That's when BMF was everywhere. That's what I'm saying. They gonna have when that nigga went to Georgia. It, BMF niggas was everywhere. Well, Florida, you, the low. Yeah, he do that. What I'm saying. KC. He do an ATL series. He gonna have to do an STL series. It's gonna keep going. I don't think they okay. They ain't gonna, no, they don't do that. It's no, STL. no. And oh, then man, uh, he, he they said he doing Snoop when he was on trial. After this, hmm? yep. That's what's next. On stars, yeah, I don't know about stars, but they were just saying, you know how he be jumping in and out with different uh, networks and whatnot. But they said the, after the BMF series, he doing with Snoop on trial when he was on trial. Okay, man. that's already in the makes. But chat, man, once again, man, everybody, man, shout, shout out to out Fifty, to everybody involved with uh, BMF. That shit was lit, man. The last yeah, episode yeah. couldn't have been no better. It, it was just everything. Yeah, they did that. It's everything you was looking for. If you ain't seen it. Make sure you go look at it. Watch the whole season. I've been thinking about binging the whole season all over again from one, just so I can watch them all back to back. You know what I'm saying? Why not? It's going to be there. Power Book 2 coming out November the 21st. You be, yeah. did you, was you watching that? Mm-mm. Yeah. With little Malik, I think the nigga name is. Mm-mm. I um, wasn't on it. You wasn't on it? Nah. But, all right, let's get these comments out the way, Ski. What's up, Doc? Niggas went crazy in the comments. (laughs) Reloaded. Niggas went crazy in the YouTube comments. Man, Ski said he wanted to address y'all niggas. I was laughing at y'all niggas, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all niggas hilarious, Doc. One nigga called called us some simps. Straight simps. Everybody was saying we don't know shit about bones. Man, they naming songs talking about Mariah with Mariah Carey and shit like that. Like, nigga, that shit's not gonna work against Three Six Mafia. Nigga, that yes. shit. I'm not saying the shit not hard. It's hard. That's cool. It's not gonna work against Three Six Mafia, bro. Shout out to everybody that listen to Urban Access Network. Wherever you listen to, keep cranking your shit up. I'm talking to you. Yeah, and um, keep supporting the brand, man. We episode 167 on your ass. Stop playing. Stop playing with us. But, but uh, yeah, nigga, what you gotta say about the comments, dog? First of all, I you see know, you got in the motherfucker. Ski got in the comments, like he started I just, coming. I said, "Whoa, Ski done jumped in the MF and comments." Bro. Yeah, but nah, I just want to start off from the rib. You know what I'm saying? I can keep it from the dome. I'm gonna keep it from the dome. Uh, this ain't no YouTuber shit. You know what I'm saying? Look the definition up, nigga. <laughs> of uh, podcast slash showcase. <laughs> 
Okay. So I'm talking to you, whoever the fuck said YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> We don't shoot blocks. Yeah, okay. we don't. We don't YouTube. Stop playing, nigga. man. Do your motherfucking research. It's a network. Okay, we're going to go on down the line. <laughs> okay. First of all, nigga, I got family in Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But the 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 thing was, since we're going to go technical, okay, it was a good debate. We were not talking or discussing history. Yeah. We're definitely not history, man. The major. fuck? If you pay attention really, nigga? and listen, nigga, you was either listening too slow. But. Back into hand. Okay. Um. Back into hand. We broadcast Jesus. live on the YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And then we air our shit out on the on the podcast where you want to listen to. It. So keep keep the vision going. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But um, Bone Thugs history. I was listening to uh since we talking about history. I was listening to Bone when we was throwing tapes. What? In the month. That's the first time I listened to a bone song. It was on a tape. Down, down, know that's key. You hear me? They think they think Fuck you know what y'all saying? talking about. Then um the the harmony and the genre of the music that they did do, yeah, it it played an impact, but me and Ill on the Ill Mac and Ski show on the Urban Access Network, we was having a discussion if it was a if it was a good matchup. Yeah. The fuck? But and it's not. Was it's not. A lot of y'all people had non-valid points, but we gonna see, man. Bro. Flat out. You know what I'm saying? Keep the comments rolling because it was just a comment. Some of y'all just sounded like a hater. You heard how we hit the cast. Believe me. Flat out. It took a long time to get her, nigga. Believe us. Yeah. I ain't tripping off none of that shit. But it was funny though. I appreciate. It. We on. They ran us up too. Yeah, man. I good mean, good debate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, good debate, man. But. Bone, bone can't do it, bro. I'm sorry. Flat out. First of the nah. month is definitely a point. They, like I said, the last cast, they, the crossroads shit ain't going to work. Yeah. That bone and biggie biggie, that and might be somebody, a point. I think somebody had said something about they got classic or so some hits or some shit that ain't never came out. We ain't talking about that. We're we not talking talk about, about that. Yeah, we're not talking. See, shut the f- up. Yeah. We ain't talking about that. This is for y'all MP3 babies, okay? <laughs> for the MP3 babies. It used to be a thing called a cassette, right? It used to be an A side, and it used to be a B side, right? The B sides is not going to work against Three Six Mafia. Half a motherfucking half a bone shit not even going to work, bro. Shout out to Memphis. Shout out to Cleveland. Flat out, but like I said, even the cut with my nigga Easy, it's hard. Don't get it fucked up. We like Bone. We fuck with Bone. Let's get that out the way too. Yeah, fuck with him hard. Yeah, we rock with Bone. Like we grew up on Bone. I'm I'm listening to music for the first time on a tape. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that's the first time I was jamming that motherfucker though. And Three Six Mafia put out so much music, they can just take one song from each album and still be Bone yeah. Thugs. Like, we ain't even going two, three songs in the albums. Man, I done listened to so many Project Pat songs, me and my first girlfriend, nigga, alone. Like, stop playing double disc albums. Yeah. Man, shout out to Project Pat, man. Shout out to the whole Memphis, like, flat out. Straight nigga, up. Like, come on, bro. Straight know, up, man. We know the fuck we talking about over here. Yeah, but so. we going to see. Oh, and my, my nigga, he says, Stephanie Mills. Okay, I appreciate you proofreading. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? The cast keep listening. We yeah. play us, we fuck up. Right. But believe me. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Flat out. The fuck they was on, bro. It was crazy. I was bugging up at the comments, though. Straight uh, up. Shout out to everybody doing the No Shade but November. Yeah, yeah. what's well, No Shade November? Keeping the shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, No Shave November. No shave. Oh, I November. thought you were saying No Shame November. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all keep on rolling. I had to tell Boo, I said. She said, "Boo, you over there ran." And she was like, "They was making, they was running y'all up." She oh, was yeah. like, "At least they yeah. listening." Yeah, yeah. You know? Ski, Ski gonna come. Ski gonna come back. I ain't gonna come back. I like to laugh at y'all niggas. Like this should be funny. The first thing I, I, like I saw to see was the yours. Different <laughs> he said, "He's back." <laughs> 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 Woo. Straight up, like y'all niggas is wild, yeah. man. I fuck with y'all though, man. Keep commenting. No. It's holiday season, y'all keep man. Coming. All of y'all and Ski gonna be, keep coming be, in here going be, off on you niggas. Need to stop being some fullers. Go easy on the Pepsi looking ass. Home alone, looking ass. Need to go get a coke and a smile and sit back, man. Keep running us up. 
But yeah, man. Oh. Okay. Public servant announcement, because we moving on. Oh, look, public what? Service announcement. Okay. You ain't said it the first time, but we all good. One for all y'all chilling eaters. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Shout out to all my chilling eaters. It's one pack uh-huh. per person. Okay. You got crumbs on your lips. That's why you're not supposed to eat on the podcast. I had to get some on the stomach. Yeah. It was a little woozy. Okay. Before. It's one what? Serving a what? Per person. You're still on that. You ain't got it. Look at your camera, dog. Get your camera out. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, you good. You can only get one pack. One pack. Why? That's the store rule? Due to the limit. Due to the limit? So mm-hmm. ain't no pigs no more? Nah, it's just It's a pig you know, shortage. Nigga, wifey showed me some shit where they were talking about there wasn't gonna be no gas no more, my nigga. Uh gas like for the whip? Yes. With a sign Like, no, 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 not for the whip, nigga, for the crib, to, to heat the crib. Right. right. Natural gas. Right, yeah, she, yeah, we we was on that. Uh, everybody been to work, you know what that I'm saying? That shit in crazy. The loop. Yeah, 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 that's a big topic right now. Straight up. Literation, situation, everything going on, it's like, you know, what's the talk? Like, we on what so the fuck niggas, we gonna do? So the niggas need to go out and get about four or five space heaters and shit? Niggas need to down there vacate. Where the hell we gonna go, Ski? <laughs> this nigga said vacate. We need to go to the Illinois or something. Go to the shy. Really, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Teasy, man. Shout out my nigga Teasy. So yeah, man. Um, yeah. Shout out to y'all doing the comments. But what you got? Public service announcement. What's up? Extreme limit supply across the industry. A chillings. So for chillin'. all y'all chilling eaters, you know how they gonna do? They gonna run four people in different times, get a pack. Hey, but man, you know how that go. Man, you know we got a way. Them chillings gonna be on the table. We gonna Whether find the a way, bro. Yeah. We gonna find a way, bro. Hell yeah, that's crazy. Off uh, the rip. Nah, man, I want to uh, shout out to all of the parents. Uh huh. We can get right into the shits. You know what I'm saying? Okay, shout out to the parents. Well, damn. But um, <laughs> what you finna get into? Ski, finna go off on the. Well, plane? last time we talked about the sexing. You know what I'm saying with the eighth grader. Yeah. And I know you. Was, I was asking about the phone checks, but yeah. nah, I was coming back with another one for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Had a little situation with my youngest. And I was like, okay, well, this is just a time where, you know what I'm saying, moms asked me, come rap with. I was like, yeah, I come rap with her, no problem. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was some, just basically, she she had a, a tantrum where she fell off, basically. I saw she falling out. At her age, yeah. So really, we gonna, nigga? We gonna, we Hello, gonna, give, her the, give him the age, too. How old is she? People need to know that. That's important. Oh, that's important. She's six. She about to be seven next okay. month, so we can go and round it out. Okay. She's seven. She's seven. Yeah. So we 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 going we too gonna, old too old to be displaying this type of de- behavior. Yeah, in public or or within you. Yeah, it period. don't matter. Yeah, period. Point blank. Yeah, we got to get we we gonna get it scraping, scraping all together. You know okay. what I'm saying? But me being, you know what I'm saying? Who I am? Like I said, the moms hit me up. I chose to. The, we gonna discuss it. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to have my reply in front of her and moms. You know what I'm saying? And we just going to end it at, don't let it happen again. That's disrespectful. And you can't do that at your age. And we didn't ever allow it to happen before. Uh-huh. And if we did, it was within that time. Okay. I'm just keep it brief. And just tell her, because moms was more or less, you know, her birthday next month. Uh-huh. I was like, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? This got to get nipped in the bud now. So what you going to say? How you, how you going to come? Like, I know you. I know just you, like I said. Okay, what you going to say again? With her age. Uh-huh. If we would have allowed that, it would have been before her age now uh-huh. with that shit. And then the the person who you did it around and with, y'all is a representation of, like, somebody that really cared for you and that, that really is there for you, so you can't disrespect them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let alone you are a reflection of me and your mama. Uh-huh. We ain't having it. Right, we, me- we, 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 we ain't having it. So. All right. You want me to tell you something? What? That shit ain't going to work. I look at it with the smoke. That shit ain't gonna work. Just that part, but I act. But nigga, see, if I you already, say that shit like that, nigga, I'm falling out tomorrow, nigga. Oh, okay, well you gonna be falling on out. time. All right, you know what I'm saying? Let me it tell ain't you. gonna be like I mean, that, no, but no, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna come. have a serious, 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 serious conversation with her because I already asked her what was what 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 situation was right, uh-huh. and I left it at that. Let me tell you what you need to do now. You do, you the do day. We gotta intimidate. Okay. Here you go. This is what you do. When you finish when you when you drop her off and you finna leave, mm. you double back. And all uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
bring your little ass here. Oh, but I'm gonna tell it Larry nah. too. Hey, this shit could bring go your for little you ass too. here. Yeah, that falling out shit, that shit dead. <laughs> you feel me, man? We gonna get this together. Are we? Right? Do we have an understanding? I want to apologize. And she gonna be like, to them. yeah. And I then she gonna be, then you be like, no, yes, sir. And she yeah. gonna be like, yes, sir. And, and she, she be like, all right. And she gonna don't apologize. let me hear shit. She ain't gonna fall out no she more after that. Follow. She ain't. I know yeah. for sure. Once, she once ain't. you hit it like that, she ain't gonna fall out no more. She gonna be like, oh shit, this nigga pulled up on me, cutting the guy gangster yeah. on me, nigga. But yeah, that let's soft talk shit. That shit not gonna work. Can't nip shit nah. in the bud. And you gotta double back. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I need you gotta, her to apologize, gotta, gotta, like I said. Cause. You got to let her think that she going to get away with it. Like, that's the thing. They be thinking, like, okay, that nigga finna go. He ain't said shit. I'm good. Nigga, I'm following ah, out some more. That's what she been thinking yeah. this whole. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So yeah. I'm not already so marinated. Yeah. And no, man, yeah. shout out to y'all parents, man. Yeah, no, shout out to the parents. Aunties, man. whoever. When you when you got to get that straightening, make sure you get it at the right time. Don't, don't let shit linger. Yeah, you you gotta, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you got to definitely tackle it when it happens. Because if you don't. And you let it happen two, three, four, or five times, then it becomes a habit and they can't stop. But you're gonna, go. you gonna have to come strong with it. You gotta come strong. First oh, timer. Yeah. First time or two. And you know the moms, like my mom, she used to bring grab, your little ass here. Grab that face. Grip that, that yeah. chin a little bit to let you know these hands yeah. could get a little bit more than this chin right uh-huh. now. But if you yeah. wanted to have some a good night's sleep, mm-hmm. you pick her up. Put ass on that wall, her little ass. You know and then I'm gonna tell her I love her too. Hey, your little ass, don't I, be doing that shit. I even want want oh, the yeah. people to be knocking at my door like, <laughs> sir, can you at least step out? Nah, you gonna, it's not that cold. Yeah, can you, we step in or step out? You know what I'm saying? You, you just, gonna talk to baby? Said the baby said gonna be like, L has really turned a new leaf. She's been great. She's been helping out around here. Nah, L just got a class, class of the uh, student of the week. We ain't finna go back. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You, you, right. So at home or anywhere, it nip in the mother bud. That shit did. Hey, man, what's up with the people this week? Ill said they, they a little bit too happy. It was, yeah. it was, it was just the vibes. Cause I you said maybe it was tripping. It's the, it's the holiday time. Everybody just jolly jolly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wrong, wrong time to, to for that to end on that day. And you know what I'm saying? People out. It's just like, it I've was just seeing, probably that. I've been seeing the GWPs out, though. Flat out. Yeah, shout I, out to y'all. Uh, my nigga D.L. Hughley posted GWP, good white people. Yeah. She, she was going off on their ass, talking about y'all trying to put, she was trying, they was trying, trying to put two and two together with some shit. And she was like, that shit trash. That shit did. These two totally different instances. Y'all tripping. And she told him pull up, like nigga, y'all chill out, nigga. Y'all trying to celebrate this shit, nigga. But yeah, they been happy, bro. <laughs> it's been real happy, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, How I ain't been out in the streets like that. I'm gonna probably step out this weekend. But I, I, uh, I think when I take L to the dermatologist this week, she got to go in. Mm. I can't wait to this appointment or whatever. It should be real interesting. But, but well, uh, how do you feel about? It being shown to you once again that what? being black really don't matter to the judgment, judgmental system, the police system, the infrastructure of America, period. Let's just put it like that. I just think about who next up in office that can help. Bro, nobody. Or get rid of, or, you know, like, like. I ain't even saying like justice or nothing. I'm just saying like, what can that's somebody do that's next? That's but see, that's the mind frame that got us this far ahead and got us far so far down. Yeah, we waiting on motherfuckers. What we waiting on, bro? We black people got enough money to like take some some shit into their own hands, right? So it's like we just need some high profile decision makers to get with some high value. Billionaire black people, right. and let's figure out a way to 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 fuck with the infrastructure. Like right. even like Killer Mike, probably be one of the best people to put at the table. Like we just got to get the right people at the table. Yeah, shout out to Killer Mike. Yeah, man. shout out to Killer Mike to make the shit yeah. happen, bro. Big King, uh, big straight big up King shit over there. But it's like even Killer Mike gonna need help. Yeah, he got a team. He gonna need help, bro. He gonna need funding. Straight up, but that's what I was. That's what I think about, though. 
That's what you think about. When shit do happen, like who, who really? I ain't even saying stepping out because, like you said, it's a we effort. But I'm just like, damn, like it's bad, bro. It's bad, yeah. When you gotta think, like one person can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But if one person started, it got to be more than one person. But what is the start of the change of, you know what I'm saying, for shit like this that's going on to not ever happen again no more? Yeah. I don't, that's what I'm saying. That answer right there for them two part questions, that's what I think about who or we or what's going to be next to end the shit. Yeah. Because the, the shit is being normalized like very frequently. And making out a, a very prime example at any given day, age, or or the time is right now. Shit, that's what is what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I mean, but I that's don't know, man. scary. That's like, a, I don't know if you, some motherfuckers even think about that sometimes. Like what certain things that, it ain't even about being in your control, but it's like, what's some of the things that don't have an answer for? Like, nigga, you don't know, she don't know, we don't know, I don't know. But you think about this shit. Right. And, and I mean. If nothing ain't presented to you or brought upon, I don't know that shit deep. Yeah, man. Just, um, I don't know, man. And, um, educate your kids. Get your own money. Get out the white man's pocket. And just, you know what I'm saying? Try to create your own little circle of business people that you fuck with that's black. And that's how we can start. Like, flat out. But black businesses really need to start taking that shit serious, too. Flat out. All day. But, on other news... What'd it do? I'm coming in hot. We got I got a major announcement. It's, a good, it's good news, Key. It's good it's, news. It's some G news. Oh, it's funny news, but it's good news. All right, go on and drop it's amazing shit news. for the people. All right, you ready? Hell yeah. My nigga Boosie Badass going to Jackson State. Shout out to Boosie, man. What are you going to Jackson State for? To go to school. Boosie? Boosie. Shout out to Boosie, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Boosie said he going to Jackson State, man. He said that it's a, a part of his life that he missed, man, and he want to go and see how it is. He's trying to shoot a movie. He's trying to shoot a movie? Man. I can see it being part of a... I mean, he, he, a I mean, he he is who he is, so he's just trying to, you know what I'm saying, put that involved in his movie, on this movie, on this catalog. He said he missed it, so he's just trying to add that. He said he want to see how it feel to walk around, you know what I'm saying, with the girls and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I think... I definitely think that Deion Sanders had a lot to do with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah, man, Boosie said he was. I had seen when Dolph had slid on uh, Deion. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Jackson was lit. Jackson State. He like, man, lit. shout out to Jackson State. Shout out to, uh, like, again, uh, the whole Dolph family and staff. And uh, Deion Sanders, Mr. Prime Time. Prime real. Time. <laughs> Flat uh, out, dog. We know our history. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get back to that, but. Yeah, Jackson State, man. That boy Boosie say he finna finna Here we enroll. Go. Here we go. Y'all love my stinky draws and I love y'all back. <laughs> and I just want to tell y'all that y'all always been supportive of me. And it's a big secret. I wouldn't go let it out, but I'm enrolling in Jackson State next semester. Period. Mm. <laughs> 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 That's how I feel to walk around the campus. Talk to girls with a book sack on. Huh. A book sack. Yeah. I want to feel known. I miss that part of my life. Yeah. I love it. So I want to enroll and, and be able to walk down the thing and go to class and try my brain. Because hmm. I still have matter up there. Mm. Oh. That needs to be explored. Oh. I'm trying to find out where to put a, where to chill, bitch. Flat out. Hey, man. Shout out to Boosie. Boosie Flat finna out. get a lot of box. Boosie's gonna be in college fucking like a month. Boosie's gonna have 10 more kids, nigga. Trust me, bro. Nah, they got a cap somewhere. <laughs> they got a cap somewhere. He, nah, he, dog. He, he walking nigga, like he talking. Nigga, this is Lil Boosie, bro. On Jackson State. 
going to Jackson State. Remember I told you, white people with a. Uh, if you think Labuzzi ain't gonna be knocking him down with a rump and the ass is, he might not knock no freshmen down. Nah, but he definitely knocking some seniors and some juniors off, and that's a fact. He gonna be good. He ain't even gonna get off and switch like that. He might just have his little yeah. Look yeah. how you seen how Boosie lived just every day. Yeah, mommy. you see this nigga throw the pool parties on Wednesday for no reason, and it's just bitches everywhere. Queens everywhere. I'm sorry, Queens. My bad. Shout out to the Queens. Really, nigga? Uh, I ain't peeped that. I ain't tuned in yet. Well, you need to tune in. But shout out to Boosie, man, for wanting to go back to school, man. Yeah. I fucks with it. Another movie. Another movie? Might be better this time, as they say. He ain't not finna shoot no I, don't know. I think he I think he genuinely or really wanna go. I think he really wanna go back to school, man. Yeah, he gonna fulfill that. Somebody else did that. Yeah, I know Swiss went back to school. Somebody else, who was who else was that that went back to school? It was somebody else that went back to school. Damn, I can't think of who it was. He was a rapper too. Uh, I don't know. Damn, who was that man? We gotta do our googles. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we, we ain't doing nothing. Y'all Google it for us comment section yeah. and let us know flat out. Since y'all nosy ass niggas, <laughs> we gonna comment. I fuck with you. Ski been going off on y'all niggas though. Ooh, believe me. <laughs> flat out. Flat out. Thanksgiving week, Ski. Man, what's on the table? What you what you looking forward to, man? What you, what you ah, what's the gonna, one dish Ski boo looking try for? Try to surprise me, bro. I know it. I know it, bro. I know she gonna say. I know you ain't. You know, she just want to cook something small. I already could feel it. Because we was having a little conversation. I was like, well, that wouldn't be bad. If you want to cook and I hit the gig and I come back to the crib, I just told her I just felt bad. Like, I wanted to cook with her. Mm. And I'm like, fuck it. You do better when I ain't her anyway. Do your thing. I may be home early. I may not. But it's like, shit, if you want to, go on here. Then, like she said, her sister going to do it up. And her sister doing how y'all do. You know what I'm saying? She doing fish and shit. Okay, so you hitting the gig. Yeah, I'm going to hit the gig. I might get off at 12. I, if they say who want to go home early, I'm, I'm out, man. Why even go then? I don't know. If I, <laughs> I want to see I want to see what it's shaking like. You know I got to see the work. If I'm going to leave early, what the hell I'm going for? But I signed up I'm for not the long come, haul. First, and you work far. I'm not driving no way out here for no two hours, fam. I'm good. Three hours, four hours, I'm good, fam. Boo could probably meet me for lunch then. If she listen to this episode. So the initial plan is Boo is not cooking, but you think Boo's still going to try to slide and cook on the back end? Nigga, Boo going to have your back shit while you going at work. While, as soon as I leave, the, the, it's going to be smelling like G-Mama house when you hit the block. As soon as I leave, shit. Oh, well, the block going to be smelling like that anyway. It's Thanksgiving. Like everybody on the block going to be smelling like that. Maybe. Bird yeah. cooking? Bird said she is going to finna dig a little bit. See, that's what I'm saying. It's just it's just breaking down today because she said, I'm Chinese, she said she was going to cook a little bit, but my bird was like, but well, watch her ass be over here, though. So it's just really going to be low-key, but not a lot. That's all. Thanksgiving is a lot low-key than it used to be, man. It's less more family at one crib. That's all I could really say. That's why I want to get a big-ass crib, bro. I think that Il Mac Il is want, the nigga Il that Mac needs to spearhead that holiday, this shit. Like, I want the that holiday feel. And it's dirt. You ain't got to worry about shit. Like, once it's announced, Il Mac want the destination crib for the holiday, nigga. Stamp. Yeah, I'm going to have to. That's why I'm, when me and Mikey buy this crib, it's going to be, it's gonna have to be pretty big, man. Man, shout out to Dolph again. Because Il over here talking that real estate shit. My yeah. man had over 100 properties. <laughs> and every birthday for his child, he got a property. That's what's up. Man, shout out, bro. Uh, but, yeah. Bird, auntie, everybody could just come through the crib, nigga. My side, your side, wifey side, we just deep. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at I it like that, that feeling, because bro. yeah, I, I liked it. I miss, I, I miss I that miss feeling, it, and I will want that. So the the structure of what how it used to be and what it is is just everybody will do their own thing, like individual or whatever but if it is a destination crib for a holiday you like fuck it i'm still gonna bring some but that's where everybody gonna be and i mean for for cool. one it's bullshit flat yeah. out because you know you're gonna have the family you know you're gonna have the family zooms right ah, everybody trash. cook we gonna eat the same time and we gonna get on zoom together if y'all across different countries that's fine but right. if y'all in the same state 
It's trash. Yeah, that's trash. The zooms. Mm-mm, you heard what Ply said. That boy said he want a pre uh he want a pre picture the day before. Uh huh. What you cooking? Cause he said it ain't gonna be <laughs> aluminum for a party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's crib. You know, one motherfuckers leaving up out there with the lunar fall of the devil ass. He said, You relieved that. It ain't no more devil ass no more. He's like, It ain't gonna be a lunar fall point. He want a picture of what you bringing yeah. the night before. You cooking some grains. He want to see that. Send him a picture. Right. But uh, Confirmation. Yeah. Uh, but I would say, like, back in the, not even really, yeah, back in the day when we was young, me and Red, we just had to do the split day. So for the holiday, we'd go over mom's side and we'd go over old dude's side. Now we're all going over on dude's side, meaning like it was a destination crib where everybody was going to be at. Uh-huh. And it has been times where we'd just slide by grandma crib and then it was still a destination crib. But grandma would be be over them ways where the destination holiday was for pop side. Mm-hmm. But we'd still swing through her crib though. Right. Because she'd probably cook a little something or whatever. And then on mom's sides, it was just that grandma crib. Or it, it'd still be a destination. But I'm saying when we woke up that day, we knew we had to go to both sides. Yeah. And ended up like that. So it was like, it was crazy because, like, with Pops, I know when we was young, you know what I'm saying, him and Uncle and watching the games and all of that shit, it was just like he know where he was going to start uh-huh. with us and he know where he, we was going to end up at for the holiday. So you just really pretty much had the shit planned out. Man, moral of the story is anybody work that day, they getting took a plate. No, nah, you get your plate when you get off. Cause nah, yeah. I, I remember when niggas I was at the Doug G, never... I got the plates delivered up there. Like, oh, nah. come on home. Ain't nothing like coming to the motherfucking uh, to the crib after the after the gig, pouring you a drink. Nah, get in there. Cousin, shower them, first. cousin them already, already outside already in the lit. front, blowing that that zaza zaza <laughs> gasoline now. <laughs> Really, yeah, nigga. They already, yeah. yeah, cutting them already out there, blowing. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. you pull up, you you already just faced you one. You just got off, but you you blowing, you drinking. You know what I'm saying? The game on, right? Game football on. and basketball, right? It's it's just it ain't like that no more though. Yeah, everybody want to be so secluded, like to themselves, bro. And then I ain't gonna lie, my grandma's fed the block, nigga. And so I wanted if somebody to, was around, or you know what I'm saying? My uncles and them used to sneak plates, uh-huh. real shit. I mean, it's just a, I mean, it is a holiday of 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 unselfishness, right? You not about to be around anybody on that day, and y'all not breaking bread, right? Spoiler alert, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we already breaking bread. But, yeah, uh, but um, yeah, man. Let's try to let's try to get it back to what it was, man. I really would like it to get back to what it was. I think once because you, once that's done and you send out the notification, it'll follow through. It's complicated. I mean, even when people send out notifications and plan stuff, like people still don't come. But it may, I, what it does is it complicates Thanksgiving because now I have to go over here, then I have to slide through here, mm-hmm. then I have to slide through here, and then I'm coming back to the crib because my gal, my wife cooked too. But I asked, and that's the situation that niggas yeah. is in, and women is in. It's like I cook too, but I'm still go to my mama's house because she ain't coming over here. I'm yeah, still go to my auntie's house because she ain't coming over here. Then the part of the family that don't this side don't fuck with, they over here. So I'm going over here. You know what? That's our generation. We are the split generation that like got the big split between families. Well, and then like it's always that one side that don't fuck with this side with our generation. Yeah, and shout out to late eighties. Shout out to the parents, man. That just just still make a way because, like, even with me and my girls, like, they going to uh, Florida. They are being Disney for Christmas. So it's like I'm just over here thinking, like, I'm probably gonna take them to see the lights, right? And when they come back, it'll be New Year's. So I'm gonna just celebrate New Year's with them. That's just how the shit gonna roll out, and it'll be Christmas for them as well when they come back, right? Because they gonna be up there, but. Yeah, we got to get it back, though. And result is, It ain't man. nothing but one crib, one destination for the holiday. And that's what it needs to be, bro. Get there. It ain't got to be, I really want you to come there like, no. And, and even like Plots, because he said he's serving dinner at one thirty. Damn. That's early, ain't it? That's midday, right after 12. It ain't early. Nah, Thanksgiving dinner got to be at least 3.34. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell no. Nah. No? Nah? Nigga, we didn't seen like really, nigga? I'm tripping. three games by four. We ain't eating or grubbing. Nah, it it it, it got to be okay. See, okay, between okay, okay. eleven. Nah, I got you. And one, I'm good. I got you. You tell everybody one thirty. Niggas gonna be late. Everybody ain't gonna get there until three thirty four. That's what I'm saying. But that's what Plies was pressing. He was like, "Don't be running in at one forty five. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. 2.30. Uh-huh. Now, dinner going to be served for Thanksgiving at 1.30. Uh-huh. Flat out. But I just said around lunch around lunch time between 11, 12, or 1. Midday. Yeah. Right, right early, though. But Yeah, we got to get it back, though. Yeah, man, we got to get, get it back, back to, man, to where we, we, we spend time with our family, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard. Everybody want to be secluded. Everybody is secluded. And it's, now I it's hit grandma up and see what she doing. It's comfortable to be secluded. I ain't going to yeah. cap. It's comfortable. That's why motherfuckers doing it. It's yeah. comfortable. It's comfortable for you to get up, cook in your own house, walk around in your pajamas all day, yeah. watch the game, you know what I'm saying, eat you some goddamn meat, some food. You know, people be doing brunches. Go post up on the couch. Yeah, because the games come on early. You know so they might have a brunch going on. Let that, let that food go down. Go on in the bedroom with the wife, knock something down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fire something up, pour another drink, eat again, watch yeah. some more games, watch some shows, family movie or something. That shit fire, but. The block be lit. That shit need to be. All cars outside. Hey, Ill Mac won't motherfucking Thanksgiving to be how it used to be, man. Flat out. And, and when I say Thanksgiving, I ain't talking about what America labeled Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically just, you need to be thankful for family, man. A lot of people lost their family to COVID. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Memphis just locks Dolph. And then when the whole thing with that is, like, if you serve at a designated time, you want everybody to be there for the prayer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but. So that's the more important thing. So trick them like that. Trick them like that. Tell them yeah. it's early. They going to come. They going to realize ain't nobody here. And they gonna start pouring them up a drink, yeah. pour you up some wine. You know what I'm saying? But that's the shit. When look, when look, cuz come and she gotta help Ain't T motherfucking make this pie at the last minute. She gonna come through early. And so Bird, they got her, they, and Bird, she got enough time. Yeah, to and do Bird it. going off on Auntie because the pie <laughs> supposed to be made last night. <laughs> you tell me you made this motherfucker last night. You bring your ass over here with a bag of groceries. And Darner already called and said he gonna be late. Yeah. And he going and he and he bringing uh <laughs> ski calls, this this type of ignorant shit ski do he gonna be late and he gonna call you and tell you to make his plate while he on his way. Man. Like nigga, what the fuck? Boo asked me, I ain't never ate him. I said, yeah, I fuck with the chillings. Probably like when I was six, seven, yeah, eight, I, only, I used to fuck them up. I only eat chillings on Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, yeah, for real. That's how Bird is. Yeah. She eat one handful though. That's it. Yeah, I eat well. I don't know a spoon fill or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She just bro, you push. bro usually cook him, and he usually give me like a big ass container of. Them. So I don't know. You said the packs is low, so. But do you get the pack or the bucket? I heard motherfuckers say it be too much water and other shit in, in the, the bucket, bucket, so they yeah. get the pack. But think, Bird said that's a myth. She said it's the same. She debunking. Boo de bar, bird debunking. Bird debunking. I, I dropped that comment. She said. She hit me with the hand up like Bird was still in the class with the kids. Like, that's not true. That's a myth. It's the same amount mm. in the pack or the, or the uh, bucket. Because I said, which one got more? They say the pack it got more. She said, no, it don't. They the same. I think that's cap. I think it's cap. You get more. Tell Bird that's cap. Tell Bird, that's cap. Like that's Tell Bird we're going to bring the scales out and weigh that shit. After, after, after all the water gone. Ask bro. And after bro the pack, made no. And after the pack is is open and unthawed, let's see which way more. That's gonna. I don't want to do that shit. That's gonna be. <laughs> I, I ain't fucking. I can't do them. Like I, I used to fuck them up though. Put a little hot sauce on. A little hot sauce. Red yeah, gave him put, a whole bowl. Yeah, Grandma gotta, used put. to send him a whole bowl yeah, to the crib. Where I, 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 I get a nice amount. Wherever Red was at, that should be busting, bro. He just get him a whole little bowl. Even for mine, I don't fuck with him. But she just eat a handful. Hey, do y'all research on why we uh had Thanksgiving too? I mean, want to get it back? We I don't want to like. Don't look up uh, the American uh, American definition of Thanksgiving doesn't matter to me. Mm-hmm. Like you have to make it your own. Yeah. And my definition of that is just to be thankful. 
for yeah. really making it to another Thanksgiving. Right. A lot of motherfuckers ain't make it, bro. And, like, I really want to stop taking family for granted. You know what I'm saying? Because we do that, too. FaceTime really fucked a lot of shit up. Yeah, that shit trash. Because, like, even with my daughters, like, McKenna and I feel like we see each other because we be on mm-hmm. FaceTime. Like, and no, I, uh, it's not the... the the, the problem with FaceTime is the energy transfer is not there. And the energy transfer is very important. Yeah, the, you lose focus. With family. The energy transfer is very important. It's good for you and to And in that base, so you just like, you bring that involved, yeah. it makes you lose connection of a distance and lose focus. Yeah, it's good the energy, for you to, like you said, is shifted to just. Yeah, it's good for you to see your auntie and your uncles or your, your cousins and them and hug them. You know what and I'm saying? I and I love when you know everybody get to see it. You know, it's just like if ain't nothing else but that. But it's just like you got to physically be there. Yeah, it's different, there, bro. You got to. But yeah, we been on the tangent. Um, uh, what you got for the people? Though? Uh, man, for the people, man. Uh, run us up on the tag, man. He threw it up on the story. Uh, whatever the page is or whatnot, we fit all of the qualifications. Mm-hmm. And I had just sent it to him, so we gonna run it up like that. But uh, we still looking for a cameraman. We still looking for an editor. We still, yeah, we still looking for a lot of shit, man. You know um, what I'm saying? I got, I got other things that I got to do. Shout out to Wavy Wayne again shit. for blessing us. Shout with out the to Wavy Wayne. Flat out, we gotta order some more Wavy Wayne. On the way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like what you're doing over there, and the motherfuckers is nice. Oh yeah. But uh, shall uh, follow your boy on my new page at Daryl Felton. J-R, put some respect on the end of my name, but it's Daryl Phil yeah. J-R and on IG. Yeah. Uh, follow, like, and subscribe. Keep dropping the comments, man. I appreciate y'all debate, discussion, whatever y'all want to put. Yeah, That's in what the we want. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, do you. But uh, follow, like, and subscribe, man. We trying to get the numbers up. Uh, shout out to my nigga Willie C. I see you got another show jumping. Got you know another show jumping. Shout out Stop to my nigga Willie with C, it. man. Shout out. Man. If you're looking for some comedy in the loop. Follow my nigga comedian Willie C. Hell yeah. For sure. He be having it popping. Hell yeah. Uh once again, shout out to Stars. Amazing episode. Shout out to 50 Amazing Episode. Yes. Hands down. Uh RIP Dolph one more time. Yeah. Uh yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, niggas. Yeah, everybody be, be thankful. safe. You did be blessed, be safe. Try to get anything early as possible so you won't have to do nothing close to the day before or the day of. Yeah. Whatever. Like, whatever you can do, man, because a lot of, you know what I'm saying, things be going on in them them close times. Even now, it's just like try to get out at the good times. You know what I'm saying? Get out early. Get get back in. Yeah. But uh, everybody be safe. Uh, right, if you stacked up, all right, let me tell you something. If you stacked up, I'm finna give you, I'm finna drop a gem on you niggas right now. One time. If you stacked up and your job said they don't want you to move, you still got to come to work Friday after, after Thanksgiving. What you can do is you can tell them, on Thanksgiving, I was exposed to COVID. So that's Friday. Go to, fri- go to Walgreens on Friday so you can send your job to paper. It'll take you a COVID test. But, but your COVID test is not going to come back till probably Monday, Tuesday. But what if they were sad? I'm like, give a fuck. The day before we, want the whole, we want all that off. Ski, we don't want to go back to work till Tuesday. Monday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck that. What up, fo? Ill trying to get y'all the gym. Oh, this nigga the, motherfucking. Uh, uh, follow me at MX314. Yeah, so y'all can get the scheme Tune on in the, the COVID-19 uh, scheme so you can get off of 314. work. 314. Yeah, what hey. If you want the scheme to get off work, telling you you got exposed to COVID, you're going to have three days off, go to Walgreens, take a test, it take two, three days to come back. Okay. I got you, nigga. <laughs> Straight up, nigga. Who is that, Cuzzo? Yeah. What's the word? Cuzzo on the cast. What's the word? We wrapping this shit up, Cuzzo. Cuzzo, tell everybody happy uh, Thanksgiving, man. They ain't even seen you in 21. They, they pissed off. Nigga, they was in all in the comment section. Where the fuck is Cuzzo? <laughs> <laughs> man, let get into it. <laughs> man, productive, you know. Cuzzo out here getting them sharpened up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's what Cuzzo been getting them sharpened up, nigga. It's straight up, man. For real. It's straight up. And tell Shay, I still got love for Lil Mo on episode 167 on that ass. Lil Mo. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Hell nah, man. Um, Happy Thanksgiving, niggas. We out. You dig?